Fintech Nigeria Association, as part of efforts in strengthening its partnership with the capital market, visited the Nigeria Stock Exchange. It was an opportunity to engage the market stakeholders, even as it hosts its second national fintech conference this week in Lagos. Chairman of the Fintech Nigeria Association, Dr. Shegun Aino, who led the board members to perform the ceremonial closing gong, speaks on the conference and the opportunities for deepening the capital market through tech. We've started the engagement with the Nigeria Stock Exchange. This is going to be the third in the series of exchanges we have had in the last uh, four months. The first exchange was exciting and that necessitated our holding the second exchange together with about 22 fintech startups and small businesses to engage and provide input to some of the initiatives that Nigeria Stock Exchange are putting together. And one of our activities and, and the knowledge events that we do has created the platform for us to uh, come and have this third uh, engagement because we also need knowledge sharing, we also need to leverage on what is happening with international best practice. So we are bringing people from uh, probably 20, over 20 countries to come and uh, uh, meet together over a two-day period to come and talk about different aspects from financial technology to come and talk about innovation, come and talk about you know ent entrepreneurship and how the ecosystem and how the country Nigeria and how Africa and of course the whole world can benefit from this, how we can work to, to, together. Uh, and we have a, lot, a number of side events. This activity at the Stock Exchange one of the side events. Earlier this morning, we had a coaching class for startups where we brought in people from the UK, from South Africa, to come and you know, uh, mentor Nigerian st startup, preparing them for the startup challenge that we are going to have uh, tomorrow, I mean, on Friday evening. Uh, this evening, again, we initiated uh, an African, African FinTech Leaders Roundtable that could have happened at one of the uh, incub uh, incubation centers from four to seven, where we are bringing FinTech leaders from all over Africa come and talk about how we can advance the cost of financial technology in Africa through our various countries, how we can grow the ecos ecosystem, how we can create market access for all the products that come, and how we can develop indigenous or African-centric uh, uh, fintech solutions, technology solutions to address peculiar African ch challenges. What are the opportunities for deepening uh, f uh, capital market activities through fintech from what your uh, engagements are? Yeah, there are a lot of uh, opportunities that this can, if you look at what has happened in the bank industry, you see how fintech has revolutionized the banking industry, in Twitter, as well in the last five years. Because that was, you know, the area that could bring immediate results. That's why we have a lot of competition going to that. But now we are seeing a lot of activities uh, focusing on capital market technology, focusing on insurance market technology, and we can use a lot of the uh, technology uh, developments in the world today. Some things like artificial intelligence, things like machine learning, where machines are trained to be like uh, human beings. Things like the blockchain technology, cryptocurrencies, all these. Uh, will, have, will affect the way things are done uh, and the, the, the capital in the capital market issue of uh, compliance improvement in compliance issue of uh, money laundering and uh, know your customer issues issue of investment advisory you know there are now what they call robo adv advisors that provide advisory services and probably much more precise than uh, than, than, than human beings um, today we, we see have a flow of the stock exchange but in the next five years, I, to, I do not expect to see have to, to see have the floor. People can do that. I, I, I know, I know, I know they, see, they do it now. People can trade from the comfort of their offices or homes. But very soon, I'm sure we'll have more efficient ways of 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 of, 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 of doing this. So these are ways that we believe that uh, the capital market technology will uh, transform and 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 change the market. And that's why I want to collaborate with the market, with the capital market, whereby we can identify young minds that are developing stuff for capital market and bring them into the capital market to talk, this talk broken, uh, broken code. We also expect the capital market to identify the challenges that they have, and we throw these challenges to, uh, 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 to these young people to think about solutions to those challenges. And I'm going to organize a lot of hackathons, a lot of competition, a lot of startup challenges with the uh, operator of the capital market. And that's why for this second national conference, China Institute of Stockbrokers is a partner in the planning of this. Uh, and we also have a, a session on how we can deepen uh, the capital market through the use of, uh, of technology. And I'm sure in that process, a lot of great ideas will come up 
that will help in pushing it, in pushing it forward. Definitely, by this time of next year, we will have seen the results of the seed that we are planting today manifest in the use of technologies in Nigerian, in the Nigerian capital markets. Fintech has a great opportunity of transforming and driving inclusive economic growth. One veritable platform that can facilitate this is the Nigeria Stock Exchange.